Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? So uh, welcome to your readings for the month of October 2018. Again, thank you so much for tuning in and returning if you are doing so. Please keep in mind that these are general readings, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And because these are general readings, the energies can be switched. They can go either way. So just take it as it resonates for your specific situation. And if, does, if something does not fit, please do not try to make it fit because then that will only confuse you. Yeah. Um, I do want to extend a very happy birthday to all of the Libras, since in the Western system, we are in Libra season. Happy, very, a very happy birthday to you and a very happy birthday to the October Scorpios. Yes, because we will be moving into your season in late October. Now, if you are you, if you resonate more with the Eastern system, of which I do personally, then we are still technically in Virgo season. So very happy birthday to the Virgos out there that resonate with the Eastern system. Yeah. Um, if you don't know which side you resonate with more, uh, I have provided some links in the description box below. If you like, you can go to those links and you can put in your birth uh, data and calculate your, your birth chart for both the Western and the Eastern system and see which one you resonate with. For me personally, I grew up believing I was a Taurus sun, but then when I started investigating and learning about Eastern astrology, I learned that I'm actually an Aries sun and that kind of fits a lot better. I resonate with that much more. There is no absolute answer as to which system it's, is better. It's really all about what you resonate with the most. And of course, depending on no matter which side you're on, still watch the videos. They can resonate at whichever, in whichever way is best for you. Okay. That is all your decision. Either way, the readings are here for you to watch. Yeah. So, um, just a little bit of shop talk. I am available for personal readings. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can get my email address from the description box below, as well as a list of all of the readings that I offer. Um, if you cannot decide which reading would work best for you after going through the different options, you're still welcome to email me and we can chat a little bit about what is going on with your situation and I will help you decide which reading would be best for you. Yes. I will be at Om Shanti Bookshop every Monday from 11 to 5 p.m. If you would like to schedule a time to meet with me and have an in-person reading, in -person reading for face to face, you can find the link to the website for Om Shanti in the description box below. And once you get to the website, you will find their phone number. You are encouraged to give a call and let them know if you would like to book a reading ahead of time. Otherwise, walk-ins are 100% absolutely welcome. Just come on down whenever you have a chance. Yeah. For the readings this month, we're doing the same as we did as last month. So we're go using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck, you guys. It's so pretty. And then, of course, we're finishing out with my best friends, the unicorns. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So... I believe that's it. So without further ado, let's get to the readings, guys. <laughs> hey, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for the month of October 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Pisces for the month of October 2018 to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Pisces. Ooh, goodness. Okay. Um, we've got <laughs> some flyers already here. Okay. So, Pisces, what's going on here? So, We've got the Devil in reverse. We've got the Ten of Wands in reverse. We've got um, the Three of Wands upright and then the Four of Wands in reverse right after that. And the first thing I'm getting with the Four of Wands in reverse is that this is something that is in the works, okay? It's, I mean, reversals can be looked at as a blockage, but um, for here, it's what I'm getting for this right now is not so much it's a blockage. It's just that something that is in 
the works. It's something that's being built. It's something that's being prepared for. It's something that's being manifested. The Four of Wands talks about a home. Um, it talks about also a foundation. It can talk about commitment and marriage. It can talk about family as well. What I'm getting here is for some of you, there is a change of home. Okay, with the three of wands upright, but the four of wands in reverse, you could be going through a period where you're you're um, moving out of a certain space or um, looking for a new space to move into because maybe the current home that you're in doesn't necessarily uh, resonate well with you. Um, you have the devil in reverse and you have the ten of wands in reverse as your main flyers here. Okay, and this is actually a good thing. I feel like, especially when it comes to this home situation, I really feel like there are some elements to this that, um, you know, you may have been, you may have been stuck in this home situation, um, through codependency, some sort of codependency situation. Um, and with the 10 of wands in reverse, I really feel like, you know, you're, and the devil in reverse, you're releasing these things. You're letting these, these things go. Uh, with the three of wands, this is helping, this is, uh, influencing me to, feel like you've really been preparing for this for some time. And if you haven't actually been taking action steps, steps towards this, this is something that actually, that has been um, in the back of your mind. It's You've been manifesting it energetically. You've been putting energetic uh, investment into this change. And so now you're waiting for the return on your investment here with the Three of Wands. Um, and if this is not a home, this could be a relationship or this could be a situation surrounding relationships for you um, in the sense that you've really been going through a period of healing um, and releasing any sort of attachments, negative attachments, releasing any sort of um, codependency when it comes to relationships, really doing your work to clear out your space so that you can bring in something new, something better, something that's more fitting, more satisfying, more um, resonates with you on a better level, on a deeper level. Um, and also with the Four of Wands in reverse, you may be letting go of um, situations, you know, in the past that were not the most stable, whether that be a certain relationship with a certain person, whether that be a certain type of relationship, um, that kind of thing. <laughs> sorry guys I just realized all my cards are like out of are not in order oh sorry <laughs> I got distracted there but ultimately what I'm getting from these flyers is this is a good thing there's a lot of release happening there's a lot of uh, and then the main thing I'm getting is a release of codependency which is always fantastic always fantastic okay Pisces let me get these back in here and I'm gonna shuffle again and then we'll get into the reading for you, yeah? Pisces. All right, last shuffle here, Pisces. Okay. And I will cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Pisces. Okay, yeah, someone's really done with something. We've got the Ten of Swords here. So this is absolutely um, speaking to the energies that I was getting, you know, in the flyers of, you know, you're releasing some sort of relationship, some sort of relationship dynamic. Um, you're very much at the end of the situation and you're manifesting something new here with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is very magnetic, very magical, very confident, charismatic, um, social. And what I'm getting here is you're really working on attracting a better circumstance, a better situation. And I really feel like with this Ten of Swords here, you have, well, the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Wands combined, you really come to a point where you're understanding your self-worth. You're understanding that you don't really need anyone else to do to get or to achieve what it is you want in life um, and you're taking your your willpower you're taking your self-worth this new sense of self-worth and you're moving forward strongly with it you've got the two of pentacles here 
um, which is about maintaining your balance, um, even though things might things might be a little bit rocky for you right now because you're going through some sort of transition, but you know, you're maintaining balance. And with all of that underneath, you have the emperor here. So someone really is taking their power back when it comes to, um, in the sense of self-worth, taking control over their lives is what I'm really getting here. Um, so there's also fire energy in this. You know, you've got the uh, the Queen of Wands, and you've also got the Emperor, which is, um, the Emperor is uh, Aries. Queen of Wands could be any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could have these energies in your chart, or you could be connecting with or dealing with someone that has fire in their chart. Of course, there is air and earth here, but those are, those I don't necessarily count as people um, or individuals. That's more the energy of the situation, the circumstances of the situation, at least in my, in my case. Um, now with the emperor, I'm also getting that there could be, there could have just been someone that was just really overbearing, um, someone that was just very controlling, trying to try to control you, try to control the situation too much in the sense that it was stifling, suffocating. Um, but what I'm also getting here is an energy of someone is really taking their power back and using their magnetism in order to move them forward in life, okay? So for the first half of the month, current energies, we've got, hey, look at that, the King of Swords. So now we've got another air, we've got an air sign. We've got, air, um, uh, sorry, <laughs> uh, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Um, but this is really an energy of, you know, seeing things as they are truly are and moving forward in a new direction. Okay. This is someone that's being uh, uh, diplomatic about things, um, and uh, detaching from the situation, being emotionally detached from the situation in order to make the best decision moving forward. King of Swords is coupled with the Wheel of Fortune. Yep. So someone is really changing things up. Someone is looking at the situation as objectively as possible and saying, does this really serve me anymore? Is this where I want to be anymore? Is this something that I want to deal with anymore? And depending on, on what they come up with, depending on the decision that they make, karmic cycles or cycles in general are coming to an end. Okay. Um, and that really feels like a good, <laughs> it really feels like a good thing. Second set of energies for the first half of the month. The magician, look at that. What did I say? You're really manifesting something here. Either you, Pisces, or somebody else. This is a general meeting. The, the, the energies can be interchangeable, okay? Um, but in this case, someone is really manifesting something new. And, and for the most part, Pisces, I really feel like this is your energy, okay? But again, because this is a general meeting, this can go any way, anyway, all right? So take what resonates fit it how it fits for you. And if it doesn't fit, then don't try and make it fit. The magician is coupled with the queen of cups. So here you are again. And I'll, this is what I was saying here, especially with this, ma this magician energy. I was saying, I really feel like this is your energy, Pisces. Overall, I really think this is your energy, but specifically here, this could really could be you. It could also be another water sign, um, cancer or Scorpio. Um, but we're manifesting here from a place of emotional stability, emotional understanding. And this is probably something you're not necessarily communicating about all that much. Um, I don't, because the Queen of Cups, you know, she's very aware of her emotions. She's very emotionally stable. But for me, when it comes to the Queen of Cups, I see her as someone that really keeps things under wraps. She's very intuitive as well. So she's very much like the High Priestess, in my opinion. Um, so you're manifesting um, Pisces or Crosswatcher or whoever this is resonating with. You're manifesting, but you're not really talking about it. There really is no need to talk about it right now. Um, you know, you're seeing things as objectively as possible, especially with the King of Swords energy here. Um, it's really, honestly, I just feel like it. I feel an energy of there's really no no need to discuss it. <laughs> Which is good. I mean, I, that's not really, it's not a bad thing, guys. Okay. The challenge for the first half of the month, you have the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is coupled with the Four of Swords. Okay. So the challenge is just to take some time, uh, take a step back and reassess, okay? You do have this Queen of Wands energy and the overall energy, but here in the challenge, 
what you're, you're challenged with for the first half of the month is coming to a deeper understanding of yourself, of what it is you truly want, of what it is um, that is, what did you, what are you passionate about? What are you most passionate about? Okay. And what, in what direction do you truly want to go in now that you've come to a deeper understanding of situations? Um, so just the challenge is to take some time uh, to go within, just, just take a little bit of a break. Um, if you need to rest, um, go for it. The Page of Wands is also giving me a self-care energy. Um, yeah, so you might be dealing with a lot this month, um, but and you find it challenging to you know take a break, take some time to rest. At any moment, whenever you can do that, I highly recommend that you try, okay? The potential outcome for the first half of the month, <laughs> look at that, the Two of Cups. Okay, so um, this could be this really could be balance union within. Um, this also could be connecting with a soulmate or a partner here. Okay, the two of cups is coupled with <laughs> the eight of cups. Okay, so um, here this is a continuation of the energy that we were getting in the flyers. Um, Walking away from a situation that's just overbearing, walking away from a relationship that, you know, turned out to be unstable because we did get the four of wands in reverse in the flyers, the, the four of wands, the devil in reverse. And what was the last one? Oh, goodness. I can't remember now. Anyway, um, definitely, th there's definitely movement away from some sort of from some sort of re uh, uh, relationship, a partnership that was just not necessarily working. Um, but this also could be walking away from, you know, one circumstance with the Eight of Cups and moving towards another, something that's much better with the Two of Cups. And it's funny, it's so funny because look, the Eight of Cups, It's off, I often describe this as somebody's walking away from Eight Cups that are stacked here in order to go find that last Two of Cups to complete that Ten of Cups for them. And here we have a depiction of that. That someone is actively walking away from the Eight of Cups, and I really do see it as someone's walking towards the Two of Cups in order to complete that Ten, okay? It's really nice, Pisces. For the second half of your month, the energies, we have the Nine of Wands, Perseverance. This is really um, getting to a place where, you know, you're pushing through. You really, ah, that's what it was. It was the Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay. So in the, in the, um, in the flyers, in the beginning of the reading, we had the, uh, the Three of Wands. The Four of Wands was in reverse. The Ten of Wands was in reverse and the Devil in reverse. So this is really an energy of moving away from codependency or just some sort of toxic situation. And it's going to take some time. The Four of Wands, I'm sorry, the Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. This is my Just Keep Swimming card. So it's probably going to be a little bit challenging getting away from all of this situation. Someone may put up a fight. Um, it just may, you just may run into some roadblocks here or there, but you're really just being encouraged to persevere. Just keep going. Okay. The nine of wands is coupled with the king of wands. We've got the counterparts here, guys. So, um, this also is an energy of continuing to persevere in order to reach that counterpart, in order to get to find that person that truly resonates with you on a, on a higher level vibratory rate okay and we have something we have someone here walking away from a situ certain situation in order to find a better a better fit and here we see i really see that this fit could be coming in with the king of wands okay it's just about persevering it's about maintaining the understanding of what it is you truly want maintaining the vibration to match that and allowing it to come to you okay because as i said in the beginning of the reading you're very much in the energy of the queen of wands very attractive magnetic and and magical uh, it's very confident sure of what she wants and knows that she's going to get it so this is encouragement just to persevere, okay? Second set of energies for the second half of the month, you've got the Page of Swords. Someone could be watching you. That's the first thing I'm picking up here. Or you could be have your eye on someone else. You also could be doing some sort of research 
or investigation to understand something better to, to, to help you with your manifestation. You've got the Page of Wands is coupled with the Chariot. All right. But now, we do have uh, more water here. Cancer. Uh, the Chariot is Cancer. Um, you could be connect. You really could be connecting with another water sign, or you could be connecting with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, there is a possibility that you also could be connecting with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. However, I really feel like that's more of your energy, Pisces, or whoever is trying to do the manifestation here. I really feel like that's your energy with the King of Swords. But here, with the Page of Swords and the Chariot, someone is really keeping an eye on someone else with intentions of making a move. This could be you, Pisces, or it could be another... Uh, so this could be someone that's got their eye on you. Probably a Cancer, because we have Cancer here. But again, this is a general reading, so it could be anyone, really. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was it. I just wanted to see if there was anything else with that. Okay. The challenge for the second half of the month, you've got the Empress. The Empress is coupled with the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so the challenge here is maintaining your abundant point of view, even though there may be energies of feeling left out in the cold. Now, this could come about because someone is moving away from a, a, a really difficult situation with the Ten of Swords, okay? Um... Uh, what I'm getting with the Empress and the Five of Pentacles is the challenge is keeping the faith. The challenge is understanding that you're never really alone, um, even though, you know, you might not have anyone, a companion to, like, share some intimate time with. Ultimately, should you sh should you maintain your vibration, you don't have to, you, you will come to, to realize that which you're trying to manifest, okay? So this is, it, this might be a bit of a lonely period. But I understand now, and I, I want to say, understand that, <laughs> that this is for lack of a better term, though, you, you kind of have put, you, you may have put yourself in this position, but understand that you're in this position, feeling left out in the cold, feeling lonely or whatever, because you're trying to manifest something better with the, with the empress here. You have the fertile, the fertile environment the, to, in order to manifest something great again, okay? Okay, the potential outcome for the second half of the month, you've got two of swords, indecision. Someone is kind of scared. I'm picking up an energy of someone's scared. Someone's afraid to open up in a way. Two of swords is coupled with, <laughs> yeah, the nine of cups. Someone is afraid to open up to something that actually could be really, really fulfilling. Like this really could be wish fulfillment here with the Nine of Cups. Um, and someone might be afraid of that. That could be because, you know, this could be who, who, this could be you, Pisces. If you're coming out of a really difficult relationship and now all of a sudden you find yourself connecting with someone else, you might be dealing with an energy of, oh God, oh, 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 we've got more counterparts here. But hold on, I'll get to that in a second. I totally missed that part. But um, you could be like, oh God, what if this turns out to be like the last one? Okay. There could be some energies of drowning the sorrows, uh, giving into substances because of, you know, difficulty, because of someone doesn't really want to face something. That's entirely possible. But Pisces, look at this. We have both the Emperor and the Empress, whereas, and we also have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Now, I am, I personally am a twin flame guide, okay? I have been saying I'm on a twin flame journey myself. And for me personally, I see both the emperor and the, em I see the emperor and the empress as a depiction of the divine masculine and the divine feminine. I also see, and that's in the spiritual realm. In the physical realm, I see the king of wands and the queen of wands as a depiction of the divine masculine and divine feminine. So we do have if we don't have counterparts in the external realm, we have counterparts or balanced uh, union between masculine and feminine in the internal, okay? And that's really excellent. That's really, really excellent. I love seeing that. I also heard true twin flames when I realized that we had the queen, I'm sorry, the emperor and the empress here. 
Take that as it resonates. If you are connecting with someone that you have been thinking is your twin flame, well, this potentially really could be your twin flame. Who knows? That's really only something you can confirm for yourself. And again, this is a general reading, guys, so it doesn't it's not going to resonate with everybody. All right. Let's get into your oracle guidance from the unicorn. All right, for Pisces, for the month of October, what you got for us, unicorns? What you got, what you got, what you got? For Pisces, month of October, 2018. Pisces, 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 Pisces. October. Woo! That's, that's too many. That's too many. Uh, keep that one. Okay. Underneath, we've got growth. Discernment. Yep, okay. Here we go. All is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing and keep your dreams a secret. So this is definitely energy of somebody. And this is exactly what I was saying here with the, uh, with the magician and the queen of cups. Someone is not necessarily talking about what they want to do. Someone is not necessarily talking about the moves that they want to make, the changes that they want to make. And that is an okay, that's fine. <laughs> that is absolutely fine. You may just want to keep it to yourselves. Keep it under wraps, you know. Don't don't divulge too much. Don't give too much. Um, again, it, like it says, all is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing and keep your dreams a secret. And that's actually um, also being depicted here with the Empress and the Five of Pentacles. That's your challenge for the second half of the month, okay? And... Um, the challenge here is to understand that it's not as bad as it looks. You're not really as alone as you might feel or as you might think. What's happening here or the challenge here is to allow the abundance of the universe to help, be, to help you, to be on your side. This is about, the Empress is about fertility. Um, it's about abundance. It's about mother the, the, the mothering energy, um, the protective energy. It's also a space for... For things to grow and develop, it's like a it's like a gestation chamber, a womb, um, that kind of thing. And that's it. So the challenge there is allowing the growth to happen, just allowing things to happen on their own. Okay. I really want to feel. Uh, well, actually, I did say that growth was on the bottom of the deck, and so I'm going to take that too. Um, and this is growth here. Seek out a mentor or a guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. But this is also a res or, uh, resonating with the message from the Empress here, okay? Allow things to grow. Allow things to just take their time and develop. Be patient with yourself, okay? Um, take baby steps. Allow things to move slowly if they need to. Even though you have this the, the chariot here, you have, even though you have the chariot, the king of wands, and the queen of wands, who are pretty fast, all these are all pretty fast moving energies, just take the time and allow things to grow. Okay, Pisces? So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of November. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.